So resizing a set of images in a directory is fairly simple. It'll take a list of, say, uh, large size images from a camera and convert them down to a percentage that's a little more manageable that you can send in emails or whatever you need to do. So, um, so just like before you select the pack directory, so I created a resize demo and put a couple pictures in there. And then you click load, and that'll load all these pictures that are in this directory. If you want to do a preview, say, uh, set it down to about 20%, and then click on it, and then do preview. It'll show you what that percentage will be. So at 20%, it's going to scale these images down to an 806 by 605, based off of the resolution of the, uh, the size that it was taken on the camera. So just to convert them, you just select them all. You can shift click or control click to select individual ones and then just click resize. So what that's going to do is it's going to create a new folder. And if you look over here, there's a folder created that's X20. So that's going to be based on the size percent that, uh, that you set that at. And then if I look at details here, you can see that the size is substantially smaller so it's it's you know um well 20 percent of the original image so you can go down even something as small as um say five percent select uh the ones that you want and hit resize and if you've already got them in there and you know say um you did one and then needed to do the rest it, it'll actually just write over the existing files so um if you make a change now, if you change the percentage, it's going to change it to a different folder. But um, as long as, uh, you know, if, if I deleted this one and then did resize, you'll see it'll put it right back. So now that image is back. But if you look at these now, the size at 5%, you know, drops it down to 80, 82K. Um, and you can do a preview, select one and do a preview and you'll see that it's fairly small. So you probably don't want anything that, you know, down to 5% unless you're just sending small images, but it, it would be a way to make, you know, small icons out of one as well. Um, so if you wanted, you know, uh, icons that are all, um, 200 by 151, then you can do that.